So I just want to make this a uh, short video here. Um, January 7th, I flew out to Louisville and uh, I did this. You know, I went, I was on treasure ground and, uh, you know, at the airport on January 8th, I emailed Kit, told them exactly all this information, which I can't get into now. But I will tell you something very important about this um, treasure hunt, the tribute where the verse actually doesn't get a person to the exact dig site. The verse gets a person to treasure ground. So I had to figure that out when I got there because I thought it says, you know, it's important to find all the gold clues. So when I got to treasure ground, I still didn't know exactly where to dig. I got a lot of footage. I mean, this is going to blow people's minds away. I mean, the the cleverness of this hunt was, was beautifully done. So, your way has a twin, a man of adventure stands at the beginning and end, cross four spans. An emblem of B, it's down below. Balcower's window, it's seven. It's important to find all clues. Okay? So, if we continue, learn now from methods past, one cask, right? Two circles, three, dragon of the sea, actually has nothing to do with the treasure grounds location. The dragon of the sea actually is the Christensen fountain in the park, which is like a, a, a warship, a Viking warship with a dragon head on it. And it actually has two sets of circles of three that are actually in the painting. They hang off the the ropes so that was just tossed in there to mislead people if they were following along so you know consecutively from top to bottom so that was just tossed in there it, meant, it means nothing for where the treasure ground is located but once a person gets to treasure ground you know it's in the marsh hillside valley deep right via fair folk and the treasure keep see how it says via fair folk and the treasure keep well in order to find the exact dig site, you had to follow the lore. And if you notice, John sent Jenny a letter to Mysterious Writings, and it said that, um, you know, it was a prelude to a tribute. Once that was deciphered, it would give information about the lore, and there would be a clue in there that led people to the dig site. See, the verse alone just gets people to treasure ground people don't realize that they might they might get the treasure ground and go i have no idea where to dig and that happened to me when i was there and so what i did was i actually went around and took pictures and um using logic and you know i prodded around certain areas and i quickly found out you know in this marsh and hillside it is impossible to even dig. There's rocks, roots. I mean, there's trees that hang over creeks. I, I mean, over the creek. I mean, there's a lot of things that it could never be buried. So I had to look around with new eyes. I had. I went back to the hotel, and um, I started looking at the image again because I knew when I was there that I was missing the final piece to this. Where to dig? I was walking on the ground. You know, and um, I have, I had a picture of the treasure ground, of the exact dig spot location, and I figured that out when I went back to my hotel. So well, there's a lot of things I can't say yet about it, but in February I'm gonna edit a little video and I'll put it up online. It'll probably be like a half hour long, and uh, it's gonna blow people's minds away, man. So that's what I'll be up to.